Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to mess around a little bit with trying to get the GP Edit or GP Editor to work in Windows 7 Home. And uh, actually, in this case, I think it's Windows 7 Home Premium, maybe, but we'll check it out and uh, verify what the operating system is. So it's 7 Home Premium, but um, if we do Windows Flag and R, and we run um, the GP Edit MSC. You're going to see that it's not going to run because it's not installed. It's not in Windows 7. And a lot of people are trying to, um, you know, enable it. And a lot of times you have to download third-party software. So I've been doing a little testing. And um, if you go into the operating system, I mean, technically you would have to do Windows R again. And in this case, you would type in percent system rule percent, like you see in here. Hit enter, and then this would come up. And then, I don't remember, is it... Uh, let's see, I don't remember what the servicing. So we're looking for servicing. Oops. My little mouse is messed up, so bear with me here. So servicing, then packages. And you'll see that um, there's quite a few files in here. And a lot of these files are packages for the... Um, for the to install the the GP editor, the group policy editor, I should say. So if you type in um, group policy client tools, or if you um, type in looking for the group policy um, uh, extensions, you'll come up with um, four for each. There's, see these, blank looking envelopes. Well, these got to be extracted. And the only way you're going to extract them is to use the um, an elevated command prompt. So, and mind you, this is just a test. So we're going to, you're, you're going to be doing this for the first time with me. I'm not really sure if it's going to work or not, but um, I have a feeling it's here for a reason. And it might be so that you can actually install group policy editor within Windows 7, all Windows 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by copying the first command. I'm going to do this for each one of these. I'm going to do it one at a time just to make sure, test it out. And I'm going to just simply go over here and paste this right into here. And then I'm going to hit uh, uh, that don't look good. That don't look good. So I'm going to hold off on that thought. So I have a feeling I did not get it all. Should be... Should end in mum. Yeah, I didn't get it all. So let's try that again. There we go. I think we got it this time, so copy. Just make sure you get the whole thing. Click here. Mind you, like I said, I'm having a little issue with my clicker mouse. It's broken, so. And uh, once you put it in, you should see exactly what you're seeing right now on the screen. And then it should say it's done. So I'll let this one go through, and then when it's done, I will... I will pause, finish copying and pasting all of these. And what I mean by um, copying and pasting all of them, I'm going to do these four, these four right in a row right here. And then I'm going to do these four. I'm going to copy each line. Um, top part um, is the uh, extensions and the bottom four are the tools. So um, let's wait and see. Okay, so that com operation completed successful. So I'll pause it 
and then restart the video and we'll test out the group policy editor. Of course, then again, you know what? Let me just do this in the entirety so that everybody knows that I am actually doing exactly what I'm saying I'm doing. So give me a second here. So we're going to copy. Copy. And mind you, I'm not even sure if we need every single one of these, but what I'm doing is I'm doing all all of them so that um so we're missing something. What's what did I do? So when I typed it in here, um no restarts, windows, add package, windows, package, Microsoft Windows. I must have been missing something. Let's see. Uh, missing the uh, the D and the NISM. So let me try that again. Okay, so we're going to type D and then we're going to hit enter. Alright, so I don't make you guys suffer. I mean, hopefully you trust me enough that I can uh, pause this. Yeah, you know, I did want to add that what I did to get the you know get the location um, or what you're copying and pasting in is I basically um, you know went to the persona app data so basically what I did is I got to this point where I did the um, percent system root and then what I did is I clicked up here and I just copied this this here after I put the commands and I needed to put in I copied that and then I went back here and for each one of these I just clicked right clicked I clicked rename and I copied everything including the mum part so just in case you're wondering how I got the command but of course I, I also had to um, put in the dism uh, online slash I, online, which online means just the computer that's active, the the com the hard drive that is active. That's all all that's saying, and we're not restarting the computer. So and then we're adding the package. So I just thought I would explain that a little bit. That's kind of all that is. Nothing nothing you really need to know if you're just going to do the copying and pasting. So I've basically made it through the first four. Now I'm working on the first line of um, the tools aspect of it. Sorry, I'm a little tired tonight. So, so now we're going to paste here. We're going to hit enter again. You'll notice sometimes it'll go on their own, and other ones um, will force you to hit enter. But I'll now. Just have the next three, and then we'll be able to test out and see if it works. Mind you, I probably could have just created a, a dot .bat file and did each one of these, you know, created the file and just let it run. But um, the reason why I created this is because I also already provided a dot .bat file that was created from someone by someone else, and one of my viewers had an issue with it so I said you know what let me go and see if I can do t some testing and I was able to do exactly what I'm doing here in Windows 10 home and 7 home so this will um, roll over into Windows 10 too so but the nice thing about Windows 10 is that you only have four files to copy or four lines of code to copy so you would do the same thing I did in this video except um, it uh, except um, it's a lot quicker. I'm just waiting for this one to finish. We only got a couple more to go, and then we're all right. So I'm on the last one. We hit enter here. So now all we got to do is wait for this one to finish, and when it's complete, uh, we're going to try to run the uh, GP editor and see if it will open. If it does, uh, we have um, 
we have accomplished something. We just got to wait for this to finish and we'll be on our way. All right, just about there. This is do or die right here. It's the fun of testing to find out whether or not uh, what you've spent a long time doing is going to be successful. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this and we're going to do Windows R and we are going to try to run GP edit or the group policy GP edit MSC and cross your phalanges. Well, it didn't give us the failure yet. It's looking promising. Of course, a 10 minute video, even though I paused quite a bit of it. And there you go. We have the group policy editor open and ready to rock and roll. So um, Windows 7 Home can have um, the the uh, group policy added without having to use a third-party software. You can do it on your own. Um, I will include that little text that I, I created in the link the description below if you want to try it out or you can go ahead and go into uh, and create it all yourself all right hope this helps someone all right have a good night guys